No physician, however consensuous or careful, can tell what day or hour they might not be the object of undeserved attack, malicious accusation, blackmail, or suit for damages. This paragraph was taken from a reputed journal of the United States of America 135 years ago and it is still relevant, if not more. The violence against doctors is not new, but in the light of pandemic, it has grown in epidemic proportions. In India, almost 75% of the doctors have faced some form of violence throughout their practice and in 70% of the cases, patients' relatives were actively involved. As per Indian Medical Association, 80% of the doctors are stressed out throughout their profession and 56% of them cannot sleep comfortably for 7 hours a day. I might have thrown you some numbers out there. You know what I'm talking about. You have seen these things. Let me show you them again. 24 people have been arrested in Assam after an on-duty medical officer was beaten by locals inside a COVID care centre uh, at Assam's Hojai district. In a viral video, the medical officer during the afternoon shift was brutally beaten by a group of people. The crowd also vandalised the hospital. The Assam Medical Services Association has decided to boycott OPD services today as a mark of protest. However, uh, what we're learning is that doctors will continue emergency services but will wear black badges as a mark of protest. We understand that you have lost your loved ones, but no one gives you right to beat the doctor who was trying to save your relative in the first place. The only time doctors would love to be assaulted, it would be by these two gentlemen. <laughs> Isn't that just fun? I mean, come on, climb on me, hit me with your little hands, ride me like a horse. I sound like a pedophile, I'll stop. But jokes apart, we cannot blame doctors for everything. It's, this virus is new, it's a pandemic, and we cannot blame doctors for this. There are so many aspects those are responsible for this. There are so many challenges like doctors to patient ratio, lack of infrastructure, lack of manpower, and so much more. In the highest time of pandemic, the on average ratio between patient and doctor is 1 to 20. Imagine one doctor serving 20 patients which has a disease we haven't found the cure of. One patient having a chest pain, one doesn't have a oxygen, one is having a fungus in his eyes which is a mucormycosis new virus. Come on Mikey, focus again. Go Koru and Mikey, fuck the humanity, said the devil. And imagine all of this thing happening to one person. Imagine the stress level of that individual and we hit them and we attack them. That is just not fair. Just look at this. these people dancing they're not dancing because they made some money they're not dancing because they promoted or something like that they are dancing because there are less cases out there the more people are being cured it is a dance of joy for the sake of humanity how can you attack them somewhere down the line in your life you might have been part of a conversation which includes sentences like doctors are only here to make money the pandemic is money printing machine for doctors you might have heard those kind of sentences Let's just name that individual Mr. Asshole, Mr. A, let's be respectful. Mr. A doesn't need a doctor. If Mr. A is blowing through his nose, he won't go to a doctor and he will still fuck his wife, which his wife is not going to do that. In that case, I have a suggestion for you, Mr. A. Why don't you just go out, go out and find a big tree, big, fat, beautiful tree and run around that tree at the speed of light. And that is the only way you can go fuck yourself. And if you are the person who wants to trash talk about doctors without knowing anything at all, now you know that how to go and fuck yourself. The point is, it takes 10 years for a person to reach at a position to cure a patient and it takes another 5 years for them to recover the money that they invested throughout their educational career. And after that, they'll be able to buy this $3500 Gucci Kurta. Don't they Mr. A, huh? According to you, don't they? Also, as a tangent, why? 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 Why, why? why this exists? Why the fuck? The point is, this is the high time that we protect our healthcare workers. 
Let's see what does the law say about this. On April 22nd, 2020, the Epidemic Disease Ordinance 2020, which amends the Epidemic Act of 1897, was passed. According to this act, attack on any healthcare personnel is a non bailable act and it can result into up to 7 years in jail and up to 5 lakh in fine. So even after we have this act, why the fuck the attacks are happening? The reason is unawareness. People don't know about this act, doctors don't know about this act, even the, in some cases police doesn't know about this act. And that is why people are doing violent attacks. In some cases, FIRs are not registered as per the Epidemic Act of 1897 which has non bailable offenses. Instead, State's Doctors Protection Act of 2010 is invoked which has bailable offenses and it allows the offenders to get off the hook easily. And this is where we fail. This is where we fail to create an example out of execution of a proper law. The problem is that the aftermath never goes viral and this is the high time that we need the aftermath to go viral. We need the justice and the results to go viral to create fear amongst the offenders to stop this violence. And in any other problems, we definitely need to make the aftermath viral. So what can we do right now to prevent violence against doctors? We can increase the quality of empathetic conversation, communication between doctors and patients and its relatives. As a government, government needs to work to decrease the patient to doctor ratio and they need to definitely work on the infrastructure and medical resources availability in the hospitals. And right now, most importantly, what needs to be done is that presence of police personnel on medical premises so that they create a fear amongst these offenders so that our doctors are protected right now so that the doctors feel safe in the hands of police and that is exactly what needs to be done right now in epidemic proportions and what you can do is that press a button press the share button i mean imagine making a difference by pressing a share button i, I, I was just waiting for you to press the share button so thank you so much for watching uh, get vaccinated, stay safe, goodbye. Subscribe! And are you going to subscribe? <laughs> no, not me, no, there.